Hey guys, it's Joanne here. So today I'm in a car and I got two hauls for you. This is going to be the first one, which was my Costco haul. I just came from Costco. I was doing some vlogging on the way there. I had also stopped and went to see a movie, the movie Fifty Shades Darker, and I give my review in that vlog video. So if you have not yet watched that video, go check out that. I will put it in the link to the card above. Bub, but if you're interested to see what Joanne bought at Costco this week, then stay tuned. Because I went to the movie theater, movie tavern theater, which was right, like literally in the same plaza as Costco, I couldn't resist going to Costco. There was a couple of things I, I needed as far as restock supplies. Other stuff was just things that I saw and I said, I need to have this in my life or things that I wanted to try. So I'm kind of excited to share these with you. Plus I also priced the cookware, which I'm still in the process of getting that research done. So please keep those comments coming, videos coming, tagging me on Facebook tagging me on Twitter and on Instagram for your recommendations for cookware. Uh, it's easier if you tag me on the other social platforms because if you try to drop links inside of the video that I mentioned, that where, where it's called help, where I need it, where, I, where I'm asking for help, uh, a lot of times it just throws everything into spam and I don't want YouTube to think you're spam. So if you can just reserve any, any comments you want to make just don't drop links in there or if you want to send me a link I want to see it send it to me through Instagram or send it through me through Twitter okay so let's get started with our haul I'm gonna I have my receipt here in case there's in case I want to tell you some pricings on some stuff there's only a couple of things I thought I got like really really good deals on the rest of the stuff was just regular pricing when it comes to Costco the first item I got was uh, a set of two Proline half sheet baking sheets. <laughs> it's really solid aluminum baking sheets. I have been wanting new baking sheets forever and I am going to insert a picture here of my old baking sheets so you can see why I really need new baking sheets. I'm doing a lot more with preparing my own snacks as far as roasting my own nuts and stuff and I just want a bigger heavier dutier surface. Like literally my baking pans when I put them in the oven they tend to warp <laughs> when they heat up. So let's see the pricing of these $10.99 for, for, for two of them. So I didn't think that was that bad for a heavy duty. And these are the, again, the 18 by 13, they're called the half sheet containers. So I'm going to, I'm going to put this back here. Okay. Next item I got was another thing that I really didn't need, but I, when I saw them on display, I just said, I really thought they would look really cool in my kitchen and really cool in some of my cooking and stuff like that for display. And that is this set of four serving bowls. These are really heavy. Let me see if I can take one out for you. They are like a 1.1 liter or a 38.8 ounce, it says here, to get them out. So this is what they look like. And I thought this one and the yellow one perfectly matches my kitchen perfectly. And the other two are nice complementary colors with the like reddish one and the blue one. But these are really solid ceramic the stoneware. Yeah, ceramic. It's the What A Dish brand. And I just loved the shape of them. I thought these would be great for when I'm making my big salads or if we're having like taco salad night or just to have, just to serve up like, you know, when we're doing, a lot of times when we, a lot of times when I make dinner, it's we, I have all the fixings of the food on the counter and we kind of make our own plates and then sit down. But this would be nice for when we have like sit down dinners and it's kind of like scoop your, you know, scoop your own or feed your, scoop your own, serve yourself, you know, family style, I guess is what they call it. So I got those set of four. How much were those? Those are $14.99. So $14.99 for four bowls. Didn't think that was too bad. Oh my God, this is going to get, you're going to see a big pile back here. The other thing I was really excited to find, they didn't have them there last time, but they had them back in stock is these seeds of change, brown and red rice with the, the chia and kale combination. And these are those 60 second Nukem packets when it comes to rice. I have been making my rice a ton of times inside of my Instapot. That's great for when you have that extra time. But when I really want to whip something really, really quick, like a fast 15 minute, 10 minute, uh, stir fry, 
this is the perfect option or it's perfect option for a quick lunch when I just want to nuke some rice, put some chicken in it, some, some broccoli and good to go. This contains a brown whole grain brown rice, kale, red rice, sunflower oil, chia seeds, sea salt, soy lectin. It's all organic. I highly recommend these. This is like the second time I bought them. They were actually on sale this week, so I was even more excited. So this was normally $10.79 for six. Okay, now I bought two of them as stock uh, um, like a week or so ago, I think at Wegmans or maybe it was someplace else. I found them there. I just picked them up like to have on hand and they were $2.99 a pack. So this is ten nine. This was ten nine ten seventy nine, and there was a coupon for two eighty off. Like it automatically came off this. So that's a really really good price for six of these, especially when it's organic. It's totally on my program. The brown rice and the red rice are gluten free. The kale just the kale and the chia just adds to the nutritional value of this product. Highly recommend. Another thing I got. Pecans, big huge thing of pecans. I again, I told you guys I've been doing a lot with my snacks, so I like to get these are raw pecan halves. That what I do is I usually mix them with walnuts and mix them with almonds and maybe pumpkin seeds, and we I toast them on the the stove top with a little bit of oil, a little bit of olive olive oil, a little bit of coconut oil, and then I drizzle some honey on it throw on some sesame seeds, let them toast for a few minutes, and then I put them on the baking sheet and put them in the oven and I let them kind of cook around and kind of toast up and dry up a little bit more, roast them in the oven for like another maybe half an hour, maybe 45 minutes, sometimes maybe an hour. It depends on how big the pieces are and I, how good they're coming along. And um, uh, if you guys want to see that recipe, just let me know in the comments below and I'll put that on my list to do a video on. But love the walnuts. The walnuts were... The walnuts were eleven fifty nine. So this was eleven fifty nine, and it's and it's two pounds. Two pounds of pecans for eleven dollars. That's a really good deal. Okay, next up I got. Oh, I gotta get these out of the way. Next up I got these chair pads for my kitchen. I got I got four of these. They come in a pack of two. I got these for my kitchen table chairs. I hope they fit. They might be too big. I'm not sure. If they're too big, then I'm probably just gonna return them as soon as I get them. I, I need. <laughs> I need padding. I need I need padding on my chairs. I just I do. How much were these? These were ten dollars. So these were ten dollars. So five dollars a piece, and I got four of them total. And okay, so I'll put those down there. The other thing I got this I thought this was this I thought was a really really good deal. This is the Del Destino Fire Roasted Red Peppers, and I haven't gotten red peppers in a long time. I like these cut up put in salads. I'm actually going to make, I'm going to try making a roasted red pepper hummus with some of these, but this huge container was $4.99. Usually I'm paying four bucks for a little teeny small container of it in the store. So this is how many? This is a pound, 28 ounces total, 28 ounces of roasted red peppers. So got those. Thought that was a really good deal. Let's see what else did I get? Oh, I got a case of, oh my goodness. A case. I got a box of 12 of coconut water, 12 containers of coconut water. These are the Kirkland brand organic coconut water, not from concentrate, and the ingredients are straight up coconut water. Boom. That's all that's in there is coconut water. I have been using the coconut water. I'm, I'm not going to open it up or anything. I have been using the coconut water for to dilute the green drink that I got at Trader Joe's. I have a couple of those left. I do have to swing back out to Trader Joe's to, this week to get some more, but I've been splitting those. I've been splitting a third, a third each day with some of the organic coconut water to kind of help with my electrolytes and stuff since my nutritionist said I am still quite dehydrated. So I'm trying to really, really hard to get that hydration, bake it back in my body. The big, the big steal that I thought, well, not big steal, but I thought this was a really good deal. I got a eight cans of Goya chickpeas. So I've been roasting my chickpeas. I've been talking about them. I know I got to get you guys a recipe on this. Maybe tonight, fingers crossed, if supper gets done early enough, I can make some chickpeas because I do need some for The Walking Dead tonight. These are the Pop Top Libs, Lids, the Goya brand. These were on sale. Um, not, actually not on sale. I think this is their everyday price. This was $5.99. 
for eight of them, which equals out to 75 cents a can. So this is cheaper than Dollar Tree to get your cans in bulk at Costco. The other thing I got that I was really excited about to kind of go with my baking sheets is I got a set of three silicone baking liners. And these two are the half sheet size. And this is for, this is a toaster oven size. And they're meant for baking, cooking on, whatever. And so I thought this would be really great to, when I'm working with the nuts and I have the honey on it or a little bit of maple syrup and it gets a little sticky, this is great for uh, easy cleanup. And this was $12.97 for the three of those. So I got those. Those are going to go with my baking. More nutritional stuff. This I absolutely love. Highly recommend. This was $7.99 for the big container of the Kirkland Creamy Almond Butter. Ingredients, guys roasted almonds done what ingredient you can't get any better than one ingredient i love this stuff this is part of my snacks i usually have almond butter with grapes and i kind of mix it together and i make it like a little grape salad with just the teaspoon of the almond butter with my grapes love it um nom, 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 nom. absolutely recommend it uh, sometimes i even take a little bit of it and i put it inside of the vanilla or uh, the vanilla coconut yogurt. And that kind of adds like a little peanut buttery and a little bit of protein to the peanut butter that I have. But I highly recommend this. I have like this much left of my other one, so I needed to get a new one. I also picked up a really cute pair of pajamas. Uh, Two-piece set. I think these were, I don't see them on here. Oh, PJ set, $16.99. So these are really cool. They're like three-quarter length. I mean, I really looked at this as far as the quality of it. I'm trying to see if I can pull these out. But look at the bottom. This is the bottom of the legs. has like this cute little lace. And the top also has like cute little lace embellishments. So I'll let you know exactly how much, how much I love these. But these are very, very soft. I need some new pajamas because some of my pajamas are getting ratty. And some of them are getting kind of like... I hate to say it, but they're kind of getting big on me. So I wanted a new pair of kind of a lighter pajamas to go into springtime, into summer. Okay, what else did I get? Um, boring stuff, but it's good stuff, is chicken. Um, this time they only had these three packs of the boneless, skinless, organic chicken breasts. And these these are 98% fat-free, and they are, they are no antibiotics, no added hormones ever, certified organic vegetarian fed. So these are one, two, let's see. This was $20.67, and each pack is about a pound and a quarter each a pound and a quarter each so yeah so i got those um oh also along with the nuts i picked up a big bag of walnuts because we were out of walnuts this is again raw ooh, these are heavy raw almond raw almonds we still have almonds at home raw walnuts it's going to go into my snacks uh this is three pounds of walnuts like a ton of walnuts 11.59. So, I mean, if you break this down pricing wise compared to what you get at like even at Aldi's and stuff, I think this is still a better a better price per per ounce per pound or whatever. So, we got the pecans and we got the walnuts. Another thing I got that I'm excited to try is this Kirkland's brand uh, organic no salt seasoning. This is literally 21 organic spices all mushed up together. So we're talking, I'm just going to read some of them off to you. Onion, garlic, carrot, pepper, and everything says organic in front of it. Red bell pepper, tomato, uh, orange peel, parsley, bay leaves, thyme, thyme, <laughs> I said thyme, <laughs> Leanna love that. Basil, celery, lemon peel, oregano, uh, savory, oh, mustard seed, cumin, margarine, coriander, cayenne pepper, citric acid, and rosemary. Like, seriously, a huge container of it. I'm going to give this a try in some of my just kind of my seasonings and try to kind of cut back a lot of the, you know, we don't use a lot of salt. The salt that we do use is the Himalayan sea salt, but I want to try to start um, kind of using this kind of stuff a little bit more and maybe even trying to save up a little bit more with the intake of the salt. A couple more items, I promise, and then I'm done. This one I was excited about. Those of you who are, who, those of you who follow my Dollar Tree haul, you'll be happy to see that I purchased the, I sucked it up and I purchased the Downy Unstoppables. Now, this 
is obviously more expensive than the ones that we were finding at the Dollar Tree last summer, right? We were so excited about those. From what I've heard, these are like the Dollar Tree ones were like the seconds to these um, Downy Unstoppables. So I am going to do a quick, I've never purchased these before, but I'm going to do a quick, I'm going to open this up here. It, it, they do, they smell just like the Dollar Tree ones. This is the green one and it smells really good. I can't wait to try them. I can't wait to use them in my laundry. So give the flavor. Oh, it's just called the fresh scent. So I got this. This was, oh, let's see. This was $14.99 minus a $3 coupon. So it was $11.99 for 36 ounces. So but you got, I'll let you guys figure that out. It probably was not a good deal, but I wanted to have the Unstoppables. Last two items, I promise, and then I'm going to get going. This is my huge jumbo container of, of coconut oil. I'm down to my last small container of coconut oil in the kitchen. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to refill that container with this big container. I'm going to keep this in my back, in the back of the house. And I also have a big container upstairs that's almost gone. And I'm just going to have a small little a small little container, maybe I can find with the Dollar Tree, that I'm going to fill and keep filled upstairs for the for the coconut oil. But this is, let's see how much this coconut oil was. This was $18.99. Okay, $18.99. And this shit, this thing is heavy. 84 ounces. 84 ounces of this. Like that is a lot. Usually you get like a small container for literally like $4.99, $5.99, $6.99, right? This is $18.99 for 84 ounces. This is organic virgin coconut oil, cold press, unrefined. That's what you want to look for when you're looking for coconut for you when you're looking for coconut oil, is you want to make sure it's organic and you want to make sure it's cold press and it's, it needs to be unrefined. You don't want anything anything extra in it. But I was really, really excited to get though to see those. And the last item I picked up, and I can't wait to do a review on this, is the organic. This is from Lotus Foods. It's their organic millet and brown rice ramen. <laughs> so I am a diehard, like I used to love ramen noodles. And actually, I would just make the ramen noodles with a little butter and a little bit of Parmesan cheese. So I want to recreate this with this ramen and use the Kerry Gold butter and use my um, my Locatelli Romano cheese and recreate it and maybe put some kind of make it like a like a light Alfredo with the Locatelli and use these and so this is what they look like. There is how many packets how many packets are in there? Eight of them, right? No, I'm sorry. It says eight grams of protein per cake. Whole grain noodles, 12 pack. Sorry, it's a 12 pack. I'm so excited when I saw these. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. This is, this is gluten-free. It's gluten-free, it's vegan, and it's ramen noodles. So this would count as a grain for me because it's millet and brown rice. How much is this? I'm so excited. You have no idea how excited. Can you see how excited I am about, about, about freaking ramen noodles, right? Okay, um, brown rice, $8.99 for 12. So that's not bad. $8.99 for 12. So that's underneath a buck a piece for each of these. And it's and it's good for you. So I'm going to be making some recipes with this, maybe even some soup with this, some chicken soup, put that in there, make the ramen. I, I already have chicken broth. So you have no idea how excited I am to cook with these. And this is going to be definitely a staple if I can keep finding them at Costco. So that is it for my Costco haul today, guys. Um, in total, I ended up spending $215. I don't really need much more at the grocery store this week because I still have a lot of I still have a lot of stuff from last week. So if you like these kind of videos, please make sure you give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Joanne. Nice to meet you. Um, yes, to answer your question, I do do a lot of hauls in my car. Hope you don't have a problem with that. But it's my stuff is already in the car. It's nice and quiet. I have pretty good lighting and I get to spend as much time needed to be able to go through my haul instead of worrying about whether somebody's going to come into the kitchen or whatever while I'm putting stuff away. So if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. That way you will get notified as to when I upload new videos. Uh, you can also follow me on all of my other social media. I am at Joanne Plans on Instagram, Snapchat, Periscope, and Twitter and Musical.ly. Uh, that's it for me today, guys. You guys be awesome. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'm going to chat with you in my next video. Bye, guys.